We're continuing Traditions Week here at the Creative Connection event in St. Paul, Minnesota. And it is going to be a party because we have party stylist Kim Stegbauer from the Tomcat Studio here with us to share her ideas for creating the perfect birthday party. I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching the DIY Dish. Welcome back to the DIY Dish. We're doing a Traditions Week this week where we're talking about birthday parties and Christmas and Thanksgiving and all kinds of things and ways to celebrate. And so it's only fitting that we would have the very talented party planner here, Kim Stegbauer. Welcome to our show. Thank we're so you. excited to have you. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, I am a party stylist and blogger. Mm -hmm. I blog at the Tomcat Studio mm -hmm. and that is also my business name. It's oh. named after my kids, yeah. Tommy and Kate. And um, that's what Tomcat stands for. Sure. Uh, we share featured parties and party ideas and activity ideas. So tell us what you've got here today. We're going to do a fun project. Yes. OK, so today I brought a few things. We are doing cupcake toppers, okay. which are really, really easy to make. Yeah. Um, and some little tips that I've learned along the way of using different materials to make them look even better. OK. Um, and then we have a banner, which we're not going to make, but I just wanted to show and just show some that. of the other printable um, items that we make. Sure. Um, so today we're going to make cupcake toppers. Oh, and we're fun. so excited because thanks to Kim, she has made this downloadable, uh, printable, um, free for all of our audience. So thank you so much sure. for providing that we're gonna so go ahead and show us how to put it together okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut these into columns okay okay I'll take that one great oh these are so cute I love the vibrant Thank colors you. and you know the chevron pattern oh is yeah so popular. Very popular right now. okay and so the next step that they're in columns is we're gonna take our punches. There are three EK Success punches that work really well that I formatted the layouts for. Wonderful. And these are pretty easy to find. So okay. there's a circle, there is a square flourish, which you have, I and then that. the scallop circle. So you just wanna take it from the side. Okay. Like so, and just line it up so you can see it. Okay. So punch that. Got it. Oh, okay. Easy, Easy enough. Okay. Yeah. Let's show. You want to show your shape? Oh yeah. Love it. Love, love it. Love it. Shape. Okay. okay. So now for the um, cupcake toppers, what we're gonna do is just lay it flat and try to be, um, you know, keep it upright so you know which way the, oh. the topper <laughs> should yeah. go. That would be good. Flip it over. Yeah. Okay. Grab a lollipop stick and a one-inch circle white label. Okay. Which you can find at the office supply store. Sure. And then you're going to attach it to the back with the stick. What a great, simple idea Easy. to be able to cover the back and not have to mess with glue. Right. <laughs> oh, and look how cute it looks in those cupcakes. How like fun. It. Yes, party, cute, party. Cute, cute. I love oh, it. Oh, that is so cute. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, yes. and that's what we love. Quick, Good. simple, easy. Tell us about this over here. Oh, that's just a little setup with um, <laughs> paper cups from a shop that I use all the time called Shop Sweet Lulu. And they're little <laughs> plastic cups or paper cups with plastic interior. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually bake in those mm -hmm. too. Really? So, oh, darling. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's great. You can obviously tell that you love what you're doing. You're so creative, so brilliant in oh, how you, you come up with things and very inspiring. So we appreciate you wow. being here with oh, us well, today. Oh, thank you. You're I'm welcome. glad to be here. That yeah. was fun. We are just thrilled because we have Susan Grant here with us. And you probably loved her for years. You've seen her books. You've seen her artwork. And now she's here I with know, us. I know. I, I feel like Susan Grant is an icon. I mean, I know you would agree that... You see anything she's done, and yeah. you know it is yeah. hers because she just has that distinctive <laughs> style that the, the lettering, the fonts, the beautiful watercolors, it just screams Susan Brandt. Yeah. And we've been a fan of yours for years. <laughs> Thank you, girl. So it's just a delight to have you here. Yeah. Well, well, what a treasure. This week we are focusing on some traditions. As the holidays are coming up, we figured, you know, let's ask some of our favorite designers and bloggers what some of the traditions they have. And so we asked Susan to share 
some of those with us as we approach the holidays. Tell us what about what's one of your favorite ways to decorate a table? To decorate a table. Well, this is a secret I was keeping. Huh? <laughs> You know, it's with old books. Really? We have like a whole set of Dickens, uh -huh. and when I pile them up in lower, higher, and old Christmas books, vintage Christmas books, right. print them all, and then I put candle holders on top of them, the little oh. uh, votives, Beautiful. all on, and whatever, I've, you know, mix in holly and all that, but sure. books are just a great way to do it, because you do get that higher and lower thing, right. and sure. plus it does tell a story. I like oh. to tell a story no matter what I'm doing. I love it. it. How like charming. It, it yes. really is cute. I did it last Last year, I did it for a girlfriend's party, and I did all um, gardening. She's a gardener, and I did all antique English gardening books. Wow, that was really cute. And little oh. tiny toys, you know, that you can fill in. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow. What about a favorite recipe you have? Well, I have a real fast favorite recipe for okay. you that actually I serve at breakfast, and but it has ice cream on it. So this hey, is for I'm a really for this is for a really yeah. good brunch. Listen in. Okay. Yeah. Easy, so easy. You take a banana in the skin and you put it on a cookie sheet. Okay. And you put it in the oven, you know, one per person. You put it in the oven for at 350 for 20 minutes until the whole thing turns totally black. And then you pull it out, it's supposed to be black. Okay. Okay, that, this is how my bananas look on the table after a few days. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That, then you're almost there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then you slit it open like a baked potato and you mush it up. And then you take a scoop of vanilla ice cream and you put it right next to it. Or it could be butter brickle ice cream or any kind you oh, want to. And then you uh, sprinkle over coffee, fresh coffee grounds. Okay. And so it's crunchy. It's got coffee in it. The banana changes totally the flavor. And it's oh. just a perfect brunch dessert. It probably Very sweetens nice. it up quite a bit. Sweetens it up, changes it, you know, caramelizes it, actually. Yes. It's really good. Oh, how you would fun. love it. I, think I love that. And it's so that easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, very easy, very, very simple easy. to do. You can make it dietetic if you want to yeah. by just squeezing lemon juice over it and putting a little bit of powdered sugar on top. Ooh. Some, I, Ooh, I know I can do really it, I just never too. do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Great. sounds wonderful. And so you have this new calendar out. Yes. It's called Heart that. of the Home. It's called Heart of the Home. This one's the one for, this one is for 2012. Okay. And so it's got, you know, it's all handwritten again. Sure. But I'll show you Christmas because that's oh. our season, right? Sure. That's our season and we've got all, we've got, um, the colors are right. There oh, it is. There we go. All about home sweet home. Each heart is whispering home, home at last. Mm. And it's got all kinds of little ideas to do um, during the season, like let old black and white movies like The Bishop's Wife play in the background <laughs> while you cook. Okay, it's a yeah. little DIY tip. <laughs> filming here from the Creative Connection in St. Paul, Minnesota, and by doing that, it allows us to meet a lot of fantastic people in the industry, and one of those is our friend Patty Young from Mod Kid. We have been friends for a few years now, and it's exciting to see the kinds of things you are doing. Tell us a little bit about your company. Thank you. Well, I'm a fabric designer from Michael Miller Fabrics, and I'm about to launch my seventh collection. I can't believe wow. already, because yeah. I think when I, when I met you, I wasn't even designing fabric yeah. yet. But yeah, it's been, it's been a while. So, wow. And now um, my husband and I own a company called Mod Kid that specializes in design and production of sewing patterns for children's clothing, women's clothing, and accessories. Well, anyone who knows Patty knows that you are just a bundle of energy. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> and a little package, right? A little bit. <laughs> and we all love that about her. And of course, she always has fantastic ideas for about any time of the year. But uh, she's going to share with us a, a tradition that she has for Christmas. So how do you start? So this is what I do. Um, oh, and this fabric is going to be a lot bigger than the canvas. So bear with me. I have to have a little bit of imagination. <laughs> but we take, I take the fabric and I cut it about four inches bigger than the actual size of the canvas. Okay. Right. Four inches, you know, you could do a little more, but I wouldn't do less because you yeah. want to be able to wrap all the way around it, all the way to the back, and then at the end you're going to trim off whatever's left over. So okay. you're, you'll center the canvas, and if you want, if you have a little bit of adhesive, um, spray adhesive at home, and you don't have to do this, but I like to just so it keeps the fabric from shifting, you just spray a very light layer of fabric adhesive on it mm -hmm. just to keep it in place and position the fabric perfectly so that you have your four inches all the way around the edge and then you wrap it around the back 
and I do my corners like this. I just fold it tight like this. I put a staple right here in the corner and then I take this side, this way, put another staple here, mm -hmm. this way, put another staple here. And then you've got a nice taut corner that's nicely yeah, draped. I was gonna say, I think that's a really important part of it because if you don't, if you're not careful, you get a lot of bumps right there mm -hmm. in the corner. A lot of sure don't do. Want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you want to put your staple. I mean, you, you can see the way your canvases are already stapled, like how far apart the staples already are, and just kind of mimic that. But you don't want to put your staples in the same spot because right. you know. You, so you kind of want to go in between the staples that are already there. So, so imagine you imagine I got a staple gun right here, and then you're just gonna feel the bump where your staples are already there, and you're gonna go in between. And then at the end, once you have all your corners nicely folded and stapled and everything, then you're just going to take your little scissors and just trim off whatever you've got at the end. And then you'll end up with a nice fabric-covered canvas. And then I just take um, sewing pins, and I'll plug my little designer <laughs> sewing pins because I'm so happy. I and, and I just got these in the mail today, so I'm really they excited are just about cute. it. They're cute. So, and they're very, they're very colorful. So... Um, and you can get, I mean, not just mine, but you can get these type of sewing pins at the store with all kinds of different shapes. So they're just a lot of fun. So I take my Christmas cards and I just, and I just, uh, you know, if you want to do it opened up like this or, you know, mm -hmm. or if you have one that's um, just a picture like this one, then you can have, have it flat and then just put a couple in the corner oh, like this. And you can and overlap notice how them. your pins match your fabric. It's the same <laughs> This one, design. I know. That's I am like great. so super matchy-matchy. You don't even know. <laughs> my Christmases are always like color-coordinated. Oh, you know, the tree matches goodness. the canvas and it matches the, the presents. And I sometimes wrap my presents in fabric too because it's, you know, you're being green <laughs> well, and cool. Well, it's your life, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, and everything is everything matchy It's kind of like two gifts in one. <laughs> you're giving someone some fabric. I know. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's my little project. I oh, hope you guys like it and I hope you do it at home because it's a lot of fun and it's so easy you can so easy. you can do it yeah. in just minutes and now you've got a new book coming out that's yeah. pretty exciting tell We've us about that yeah sewing mod kit style sewing mod kit style is with Wiley Publishing and it'll be it'll be out in stores March of 2012 but it's up for pre-order now you can go online and just google it it'll be everywhere and it's really cute and all your fabrics are amazing yeah thank you, you yeah have great design elements there you have beautiful colors yeah. vibrant colors yeah nice kind of matches cool. your personality too I'd say <laughs> it's a whole package that's right, that's right. <laughs> I love it thank you well, thanks thank so much you. for for joining us wow. today. I'm we thrilled that you asked it. me. Well, it's you're great. very welcome. And we appreciate you also being with us today. Um, we hope you felt that creativity was starting to Bye. Bye.